Hey beekeepers, Sanel here with NKY Honeybees. It's a beautiful day to be a beekeeper, at least here in Kentucky. Weather is about 70 today and I want to get in my hives. I have six active hives and I want to see what's going on, prepare them for the flow. We do have a lot of pollen coming in. Some of the trees are uh, blooming as well. So probably got some, uh, at least a little bit of nectar coming in too. But um, today I'm going to take a look at the um, hive IQ hives and see what's going on in those three. Um, shortly, probably in a few days, I'll have another video on Apame hives as well. But today I'm just going to focus on these three, make sure they're ready for spring and see what's going on in the apiary. So come with me and let's take a look at some of these um, beautiful bees in these boxes. Alright everybody, let's get in here and see what's going on. Um, the top uh, deep is actually just a couple of frames of honey because these are um, splits from la late last year and they didn't have enough so I kept adding um, honey up here. I didn't want to disturb the bottom brood box. However, I have some boxes over here. I'm going to change this uh, today and probably just put a super up here just in case I need to emergency feed or anything like that. So we'll put that aside for a second. This is my hive heart that measures temperature and everything. And it tells me that this uh, hive is getting ready to swarm in 21 days. How accurate is that? I don't know. We're going to find out, I guess, within a couple of weeks. Um, there is quite a few bees in here. I can see probably six or seven frames. So that's good. Let me get my smoker here. So I'm actually going to go through th this, uh, through all the frames and see what's going on. All three of these hive IQ hives. Um, I do suspect there is a nectar flow. Uh, not much, like it's not a full nectar flow. It's just uh, probably just some because we do have trees blooming. Um, definitely pollen. I see it coming in right at the front door. There's some ants on this too. Um, however... The box is really light, sorry bees, but as you can see, hopefully you can see, this is full of pollen. Uh, actually bee bread is what it is. All right, if you flip this over, it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside and we'll keep going through this box frame by frame. It's a beautiful day today. This is pretty much empty. There's a little bit of nectar up here some capped honey, but that's not much going on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, frames that have honey from top box that I had on and put them down here. This is empty too because it's super light. A little bit of nectar up here. So there is some nectar coming in. However, that's not much. That's not, I don't think it's enough to sustain the bees. Not yet. Probably will be next couple of weeks. Oh, wow, look at this beauty. So we've got nectar, pollen, capped brood, and then here is just freshly laid eggs. Beautiful. Man, I've been waiting for this for a long time. This excitement. You know, it can be stressful beekeeping, however, can definitely be exciting at times. All right, let's go to the next one. See, this is brood. This is all brood. Some pollen around here and fresh nectar. This is, um, looks like they hatched out and this is laid right back up. That's larvae. I don't see the queen. Maybe we'll see her. And now we got same thing on this side. Lots and lots of brood, which means this hive is going to get big really, really fast. So that hive heart thing that's telling me, it measures basically the sound within the hive and they can tell if the bees are um, disturbed, if they're getting ready to swarm and so on. At least that's the claim. So we'll see, I'll actually monitor that and keep you updated. It says 21 days and I just saw it yesterday. So in the next three weeks, and just looking at this, I see how that's possible, actually. Yeah, this is all brood. All this is larvae, fresh nectar, and pollen. 
they're definitely mm -hmm. building up really fast and really good. I don't see the queen. I don't know. Maybe I missed her. But I know there is a queen in here because there is fresh eggs and young larvae. So queen is somewhere. So we'll go through the rest of the hive here, rest of the frames. Oh, wow. They're building new comb. Wow. Look at that. That is beautiful to see. Did not expect that. See, there's a guy with some pollen on his legs. Uh -huh. There's some here. Wow, did not expect new comb yet. It's always um, you get excited when you see new comb. Yeah, so if you look at these, there's a whole bunch of bees with orange pollen. There's yellow. This is kind of awesome. And there is a bee with orange head on her. I don't know what that's all about, but we'll leave her be. All right, ladies, move over. Don't want to squish you. Let me just give them a little bit of smoke. They're super calm, which is kind of nice. It's really nice to work with bees when they're calm. So that's another indicator that there is things out there they're picking up. All right. Oh, this is definitely full of nectar. This frame is full of fresh nectar. Some brood inside. Let's take a look at the other side. The other side basically had some honey, and I don't know if it's old honey or fresh nectar. Okay, ladies. Let me change that over. And this is usually the last frame is usually honey and nectar, but we'll take it. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Yep. So that's honey from last year. And then we've got huh, some more honey on this side. That's about it. So I did not find the queen. However, I know the queen is in here. I'm not worried about it. Uh, there is definitely a lot of bees in here. This is good hive. So what I'll do is I'll move this uh, honey frames from the top box right down there. Actually, not sure if there is much left here. Yeah, there is another honey frame. So I'll put that down here so I don't have to have that uh, deep box on top. However, I will put a super up here. I will not put frames in there, but I'll keep a super up there just in case I need to emergency feed or anything like that to save the hive. I don't see that happening. However, it's not going to hurt because it's warm down here um, in Kentucky at this point. So this hive looks fantastic. Let's go to the next hive, which is a little bit concerning for me. Looks like it's a, a weak hive. So let me put this together. We'll jump to the next one. All right. So this is my weaker hive. I definitely know it's weaker because there is not a lot of bees going out. I'm going to switch this box to another box because I did not put this box together the way I was supposed to. So I'll just... Give them a brand new box, move them over. There isn't but a couple of frames of bees in here. All right, so I could, oh, this is really glued together. Here we go. Another one that I have my hive heart in here. This is definitely helpful. I'll do a complete video. I did a short video before, but I'll do another one explaining in detail how that works and show you some data. So as you can see, this hive here, there's only like one or two frames of bees. So I, I'm going to go through here. And as I go through here, I'm going to move them over to the next box. Come on, box. All right. Let's get in here and see what's going on. See, I'm not worried about stores for this hive because there isn't a lot of bees and they have some honey in here. However, oops, I'm sorry. However... I'm more concerned about the hive itself. See, that's honey. Nothing in here. Same thing here. Like I said, I will transfer this to a new box, but I'll transfer it as it is here. Same way. Yeah, this is full of bee bread. Both sides. Probably should put this frame in a 
hive that really needs it or like a bigger hive yeah some more honey so we'll just keep putting these aside like i said there's only a couple of frames of bees here this is more honey man lots of honey looks like there's some brood here so there's some brood and some nectar and pollen around here however this brood does not look right this looks like dead brood to be honest with you maybe she laid it up and they didn't have enough bees to cover all this huh. not sure however i will leave them as is for now because it is a weak hive already yeah some more honey yeah i should probably take some of this honey out of here put it in some of the other hives but we'll we'll leave them be for now so this might be looks like some brood here so this might be the only frame with brood there's the queen look at that queen right there super black on the back so there is some brood coming and going i guess oh there's some on this side too huh they might be just i guess late bloomers one could say so this was a actually a split from last year and they replaced the queen it was late in the season so this queen might not be too good we'll see how she goes i see some brood there and a couple of frames and this frame looks like it has brood so yep she's laid this up too so we'll leave this alone for the time being for another couple of weeks so what i'm gonna do if i don't see any improvement i'm gonna take uh, a frame of brood from another hive and some bees and add them in here this is just pollen uh some more pollen so yeah that's what i'm gonna do on this hive it is weak so like i said a couple more weeks we're gonna get a little cold next week and then week after if i don't see anything going on i'm just gonna add a frame or two from another hive that's good just to boost this up and hopefully we can get it going i'm actually gonna replace the box and the box is now red I love these hive IQ hives. It's so easy to change these. They're actually not screwed into the bottom or glued in or anything. Um, technically, you could do that, but there is no need for it, so I don't do it. And I'm going to leave that as is now. Like I said, for at least a couple of weeks, and then we'll see what we're going to do with this hive. How this, hopefully, they can just slowly build back up. So let's take a look at the next hive all right here we go put a box right next to it and do the same thing we did in the previous one let me move my hive heart uh this hive looks like there's a lot of bees in here so let's take a look at this actually i'll start from this side so i can move them right to the wall so two out of three not too bad i mean the the middle hive is not dead however it is definitely weak, so I might need to give it a little push to get it going. Uh, not much here, just some honey. There is a, a end frame, so that's why usually that is. All right, ladies. Look at this. Lots of bee bread and pollen right here. It is beautiful. It is beautiful time of the year, my friends. Beautiful time of the year. And then some more honey. I've been waiting for this for a while. Like I said, it can be stressful at times, but that's the whole thing. The challenge. Look at this brood. So we got brood, we got larvae, and we definitely have eggs on the side here. And larvae in all stages. Lots of bees with pollen on here. You can definitely tell they have a lot of pollen. And it's not the same color either. It's different colors, which tells me there are definitely things out there blooming. Oops. Squish the bee. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, this is all larvae here. So we'll go ahead and put that. Oh, there's my queen too. That's a beautiful queen. Look at that lady. It's a pretty big queen. She's definitely doing her job here. It's awesome. Uh, when you first start beekeeping, always you just want to see the queen. Now, after several years, uh, you can just tell if the queen is in there or not, and you move on. It's always nice to see her, but you don't have to all the time. Like, look at this. is a bright red pollen on here. Yellow. See, that's a lot of brood. This is all laid up, too. So this is a really, really good hive. Next couple of weeks, this is going to be huge. We got to watch for swarming in the next couple of weeks. So uh, it's, these hive IQ hives are fantastic to me. They're super light and they hold nine frames. So I'm going to try single brood management this year with these. I think nine should work fine, but we'll see. So you'll take a look at this. Just beautiful. So this is what I'm talking about. So you, I can take a frame like this to that weak hive and that's gonna boost that up really, really good. I won't do it now, like I said, I'll wait another week or so. Awesome. All right, let me move that over. Why am I waiting another week or two? Just because some of these bees that I put in there will come back to this hive. They might not be nurse bees and they might not have enough bees on the other hive to cover this brood, so it would just die. So it's a, it's a loss. Like I said, when the weather gets a little warmer, I'll do that. I'll boost that hive up. What do we got going on here? Just some interesting comb building. Wow, this is full of pollen. Yeah, so at this time, when I move these, especially this time of the year, I do not want to break the brood and separate the checkerboard or anything. I just put the same, same way they were in here, I'll put them in the other box too. Uh, but that's how I do it, as Mike Berry would say, this is not a how-to, this is how I do video. And it works for me. So, as a beekeeper, you find your own way of doing these things and they work. This is a honey frame, so I'm moving it to the side, put this empty frame more towards the middle. So this doesn't matter, this is just empty frame and honey frame. This is not any brood or anything, so I'm not breaking any brood nests. And not much on here. This is an empty frame, so I'm gonna take another frame that's full of honey and put it in here. If I can find it. Yeah, so instead of putting an empty frame, I'm just gonna give them this honey frame in here. That'll keep them going for next couple of weeks because this is March, what, March, uh, I don't know, 12, 13, I'm not sure. And it's really crucial for bees to have to have enough um, stuff not to starve. Um, I know there is a little bit of nectar, but that's not, I'm just gonna shake this off. That's not nearly enough for the bees to make it. So again, I'm just gonna change this bottom box, maybe. Oh Lord, that was really glued together. Just checking the bottom box, seeing what's going on down here. Looks like some of that hive alive fondant that I had over the winter. Oh, that's oh, that's pretty heavy now. All right, so that's perfect. So now they have stores, and they're really good to go through the winter. So let me close this up, and I'll give you a couple of other things here um, that I'm planning on doing. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was fantastic getting into these hives and actually going through all the hives um, in detail, seeing things, how things are going, 
Um, it is spring. This is just going to get more and more busier the next few weeks and throughout the summer. So I'll keep you updated as we go on. If you have any questions, any comments, anything, please do leave them down in the comments below. Um, I love to talk about bees, so um, you know me. So I'll add another Hive IQ Hive here as well. Um, just uh, when I get my packages from Greg at Nature's Image Farm in two weeks, I believe, on 27. So I'll have a video, I'll show you how I installed that on these and probably add them to a couple other hives too. So, happy beekeeping, I hope you bees are doing well and I'll see you in the next video.